Hello, I'm Ron Jordan and welcome to a special Focus on Energy, Focus Friday 5. We are at the Net Zero Home Build in Fitchburg. Last time we were here, the foundation wasn't even in place. Jack and Kevin are building a Net Zero Ready Home, which means they will produce any energy to offset energy used. Their house will be Net Zero when the solar panels are installed. And they're working with Focus on Energy advisors and trade ally contractors, ensuring the home's energy efficient design works with any little changes and we'll get rebates for energy efficient products purchased. So Jacqueline, how's it going? Great, everything seems to be on track. Uh, we have made at least one change though. Uh, we upgraded our electrical panel to accommodate the maximum peak load in the house and prepare for the solar panels we're going to install and the new charger. There's always those small changes, obviously. Yeah, I mean, you, you called it earlier. I. I feel like there's a few things we could have done in the design phase to avoid it. Um, at the same time, we might have come to the same conclusion anyways. We kind of future-proofed our house. What else is happening that uh, you could say would be moving towards the energy efficiency and the net zero? Yeah, ready home? hard to believe, but there's a lot of energy efficiency things already thought out in this house. Okay, so let's start with the stud walls. One of the things we considered was upgrading all our walls from 2 by 4 stud walls to 2 by 6 um, ultimately, the BPC showed us that the feedback just wasn't there, and it would have thrown off the dimensions in the house. What it would have done is increased the insulation we can put in the house, essentially reducing air leakage. And so you have a higher R value. That's right. All the exterior walls will have an R value of 20, which is pretty good from my perspective. Another thing we're mentioning, when you walk around the house, you see that Tyvek wrap. That's a weather-resistant barrier that keeps water out of our house. So are there going to be different R values around the house? You guessed it. And this is definitely something Kevin knows I've pushed the builder a lot on. I just needed the reassurance that what we're doing during the build phase was going to make that air source heat pump work as efficiently as possible and keep us warm on the coldest days. And it should. Let me show you some other things. All right. Welcome to the basin. Um, there are a few things that we thought about energy efficiency wise here. So the basement walls will have an R value of 10. We considered upgrading this um, and the building performance consultant ran through a few scenarios with us, but ultimately they showed us the payback just wasn't there um, to, to change the insulation. Um, however, we do plan to finish the basement in the future anyways. We're standing in what I want to be my gym. All right. <laughs> so we'll hit that R value that I want anyways in the future. So you're going through Focus on Energy's new home certification and the building performance consultant is part of that process. That's right. Um, the building performance consultant that's doing the energy model is also going to come on site twice. They'll do two site visits. One of them is basically now pre-drywall. They'll walk through, they'll make sure all the energy efficiency components look good. They'll give the uh, builder a report with a grade, uh, and we'll see if there's any changes we need to make. They'll come again pre-move in, and that, at that point they will do, um, it's a blower door test, an infrared scan, and duct testing. So Jacqueline, we're upstairs, and the building performance consultant's going to do walkthroughs. What would be found that could be an issue? Uh, I mean, things like, does the ductwork look good? Is there insulation in the attic? I mean, a house is a really big project and, you know, things are going to get messy when you try to do it perfectly. So tell me as well, like, what the attic and the insulation and all that, where it's a wide open space up here, obviously, right now. So what's going on with that? Well, that was another thing that I asked the builder about. Uh, we're doing R50 in the attic, and I was thinking, we should upgrade to R60. So I reached out to the BPC, got the energy model, ran some simulations, and found out that, again, the payback wasn't there. So that's because our builder is working with focus on energy, and they've already thought about the right R values throughout the house. So for me, it's you know been a story of me pushing back a lot and being told things are already in pretty good shape. I'd say that's a pretty good thing. Yeah. <laughs> so what's next? What's next? Um, well, I'm going to invite you for that walkthrough with the BPC in a couple weeks here. It should be pretty fun, I think. Well, yeah, I think it's going to be fantastic. Great, thanks for the invite. Yay! <laughs> and thank you all for joining us for the Friday Focus 5 at Net Zero Ready Home. I'm Ron Jordan. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this with your friends, and we'll see you in a few weeks.